most important speaker uh, though everybody had invited uh, and uh, everybody has given very important inputs but something which is more contemporary and is bothering many of us in tobacco control is uh, the um, involvement with the um, health professionals which we are seeing of the industry currently and for that we had invited uh, dr shiv kumar uh, choudhury uh, dr choudhury um, as you see on your screen um, is uh, professor and head of cardiothoracic and vascular surgery at all india institute of medical sciences delhi and has been involved in various organizational bodies uh, namely cardiothoracic surgery network european association for cardiothoracic surgery and the society of uh, thoracic uh, surgeons he has more than 300 research publications under his name and greatly interested in issues uh, like the uh, one we are talking which are of relevance to public health so um, uh, we had particularly requested dr choudhury to let us know that in recent times and for uh, future uh, we are seeing um, uh, that industry is interfering in different and innovative ways so, sir, we would like to hear your views about uh, you as lead health professional in the country, how medical associations and medical societies can play a seminal role in sensitizing their membership on tobacco industry interference and how they are engaging health professionals through various brands, uh, which many a times health professionals are not aware of that are uh, associated with the tobacco industry. Over to you, sir. Oh, thanks, Dr. Monica. And I must compliment you for inviting me, a clinical surgeon, in this uh, platform of imminent public health specialist. So let's come to the topic. Nowadays, very frequently, we do see that the tobacco industry, either openly or in disguise, is seen along with the health professional. When I say health professional, I will be limiting myself to the clinical health professionals. So on various platforms, various activities, they are seen along with on the side of the health professionals as the champion of the health in the country. And uh, they are trying to build inroads with the health professional fraternity. So we must understand why it is important for the tobacco industry to make friends with the health professional. Uh, first and foremost thing of importance is that the health professional, the clinical health professional, because of their proximity with the decision makers, the policy makers, whether it is politicians or the top level bureaucrat, very often they act as eyes and ears of the persons in the matter of health. So whatever feedback they give, that uh, means a lot to these policy makers. And uh, very often, some people may act as a bridge between the tobacco industry and the policy makers, though it happens rarely, but it does happen. Another thing is that in, term, in times of uh, policy making, these health professionals who are friendly with the tobacco industry, or I can say the tobacco industry through these professionals can pass ready-made draft or favorable literature to the policy makers. And sometimes that is quite crucial. And the one more thing is that the health professionals are nature, by nature, they are the strongest opponent of uh, tobacco industry. So if you make friends with the tobacco industry, if uh, the tobacco industry makes friend with the influential health professional, their voice of uh, opposition is naturally muffled down. And lastly, you can see that some of the health professional can even be used as a lobbyist for their product. We have recently seen in case of ants, this thing being happening. So the, because of these regions, the tobacco industry uses all its mean to make friends, and, uh, make friends with the health professional and to be seen along with the health professional. Now, from health professional point of view, it's not always that the health professionals, they get involved intentionally. Sometimes because of their ignorance also, they are involved. So what, what drives these relations? First thing, 
they very frequently these are the major sponsors of various scientific events and uh, because of the immediate needs these health professional become their prey i will give you an example in 90s when i was in kanpur we had a conference on head and neck cancer and all of us know that the chewing tobacco is the major cause of oral cancer and can you believe the the most important sponsor of that event was the gutka maker in the kanpur the all of you know about the pan prag brand and uh, so he that organization was the chief sponsor and on the souvenir back page you had the big advertisement of the pan prag the organizer didn't do it intentionally because but they needed money and no other organize no other organization organization was sponsoring it so they fall prey to it secondly i would say in, uh, why they fall prey to these things because very often these health professionals who are busy in, in clinical practice they have a tubular vision they are expert in their clinical fields but very often they lack they require awareness about all these issues and for example if you, you see the itc most of the people will no, not know that itc is making sunfeast the biscuit brand it's making sevalon and so many other product which we use in day to day life so if you support an activity or you participate in an activity which is supported by these brand you naturally you go and support the bigger organization so very often they don't have knowledge about these things and this diversified portfolio of these big houses this will lead to involvement of health professional and once health professionals are associated with these people they often just go and uh, establish long term relation now coming to uh, i will just uh, touch quickly about certain point which can be done firstly the health professionals should be sensitized about all these issues they should be told what is good what is bad and they should look beyond their clinical practice about from the point of view of public health perspective and not only health professionals all the institutions the got the big institutions and the scientific organizations should also be sensitized second important point which come to my mind that whenever such program or event is taking place they should mandatorily give an undertake taking that all the speakers all the organizers important guests they should give an undertaking that they don't have any relation with the tobacco industry or industry in which tobacco industry is playing a major role so that is an important point and thirdly if this uh, tobacco lobbying can be declared as a misconduct if national medical commission and state medical commission start taking it the cognizance of tobacco lobbying and they can investigate and do appropriate measures that will also be uh, an appropriate steps and of course what dr swasti told it's a an important uh, step and once implemented i think that will uh, just protect us from these influences in a significant way i will stop here thank you thank you so much uh, dr chaudhary it is always a pleasure uh, to hear leaders like you uh, who are supportive uh, of tobacco con